Hey guys, so we coming in to do this video because my baby boy getting ready to lose his first tooth. Look at this. See it? So we getting ready to go ahead and pull it on out. Let's see if we can, we can sit it up here so they can see. Alright, so I've already washed my hands. And I got some cotton ball ready. So I got the cotton ball ready. <laughs> Alright, so here we go, baby. <laughs> Are you ready? Open big. Good. It's already out. <clears throat> See, that was an easy one, guys. See it? Let me see. And it's not even bleeding. It's not even bleeding. See? It's already out. Feel better already, right? Alright, so I want you to get a piece of tissue. Alright, so we're going to wrap it up for the tooth fairy. Oh. Alright, we're going to wrap it up for the tooth fairy. And I want you to put this under your pillow and hold it. I'm going to go with you. So we're going to put it under the pillow. You got to put it under the covers too. So she can get it. Put it under here. Right here, under there. Alright, now put it under there. Alright, because she got to know where it's at. So we got to leave that under there so she can get it, okay? I see. Hmm? I see my tooth. Just smile big and you can see it. See, it's gone. All right, guys, so we get ready to finish eating now. <laughs> it was loose, super loose this morning, um, but I wasn't going to keep him at home for, for that, so. It's out now, so now he's okay. All right, guys, I'll check in with you guys later. <laughs> Got it. Look who likes suckers, y'all. You got to turn it the right way, child. I'm Brian. I was in the military for 18 years. I joined the service so I could serve my country and see the world. But I smoked. And I got heart disease. So a lot of the world I got to see looked like this. I can't dance. It's hard to serve your country when you're too weak to put on your uniform. You can't quit. For free help, call 1-800-QUIT now. The shrimp lover, Captain D's ultimate shrimp feast is here. It's our new extra crispy shrimp. We're just chilling in the bed, y'all. All kinds of tasty shrimp. Do we mention shrimp? Eat shrimply amazing. You done? He don't want no more. Captain D is. Come on in for our long board originals for steak. I think because it's little now, he don't um, he don't want to deal with it now. <laughs> now I eat the rest of it. Um, things I've experienced 
in court and doing investigations. It's a, a mishmash of people on trial. This is my relaxation oh, time, y'all. Look, 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 I see look, him, look, I see him. No mess. He's another ham, y'all. He loves the camera, just like AJ. Uh-uh, be careful. Still little, that's why I said don't pounce in my bed. Sorry, we're all the sugar gonna have him off the train. You're not gonna give up, are you? Okay, what do you want? Okay. Right off the menu. I recommend you order from there. Okay, don't 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 jump with that. Keep, you're gonna have to keep still so he can keep still, okay? That's why I said no no jumping around in my bed, because I don't need him. Trying to fall, dive, because he like to dive in the bed. And you can't dive with that in your mouth. I'm telling you that right now, Shorty. Dive. You see him? You see him? All right, y'all, let me um get off of here so I can make sure it don't nothing happen. <laughs> Catch him. I you die Oh, guys so it's about dinner time now I think it's like 6 30 or something like that so um let me fix you up here um I'm making some fried chicken because that's what AJ likes and I'm gonna try something new I'm gonna take these um tilapia fillets and I just want to see if I can fry them. Uh, I like trying new stuff, so I just want to see how that will turn out. Um, but we haven't been doing too much or nothing. You know, AJ got home from school, so. Just been playing. I showed you guys, you know, in the clip and things. And just been downstairs. Um, playing downstairs. The baby took uh, a couple steps on his own. So. He's almost ready. That's when I'm gonna really need my my gym shoes. We call them gym shoes from Indiana. I know most people call them sneakers or whatever, but yeah, we call them gym shoes. So, oh, my baby um, AJ, he got awarded for honesty at his school, and this was his prize. So it says. Be the change you wish to see in the world. Yep, that's good. I like that. Be the change you wish to see in the world. So, you don't want to see no more hate? Don't you promote hate. If you don't want to see no more violence, then don't support violence. You don't want to see sin, don't promote sin. I'm just saying. I know it's a little deep, but that's that's what I do. I'm, you know, I don't sugarcoat anything. You know, even when I have my talks with AJ, like we just had a talk a little while ago, and you know, he's a kid, and the informative years for kids are from age three to age seven. 
He'll be turning six in September. And he's a, okay, I'm not even going because, yeah, I'm not going to say what I was going to say, but I'm trying to grab him back in um, just to put it that way. Um, he's straying away from some of the things that I taught him and some of the things that were taught to him before he even came to me, came to live with me. So I'm trying to instill those back into him. Um, he's become more flip at the mouth, you know, if he, and he knows that he's doing wrong because he'll tell you it. Um, he'll say, well, I didn't do it because I wanted to do blah, blah, blah. Okay, so now I'm in the process of trying to teach him. Even though you want to do what you want to do, if a, if a grown-up is asking you to do something else, then you need to do what that grown-up is asking you to do. And then maybe you'll have time to do what you want to do. Because I don't want him to grow up with this instant gratification that is now the norm for our young people. It's just, I have to have it now. If I don't have it now, I'm going to die. And I don't want him to think that way because all of us in, in my age group, we all know and we were raised that way that Anything worth having is worth working for and waiting for. And so I want him to grow up with those values instilled in him. And whatever I, I need to do to get him to understand that is what I'm going to do. I don't, like I said, I don't sugarcoat anything. And I give it to him raw and real. Yes, he's five years old. But the five years old of today are not the five year old uh, from when we were five years old. So I have to take a different approach. I have to attack this thing in the science, in the society that we are in right now. Some may disagree with me with that, and that's fine. This is my this is my grandson, so I'm gonna I'm gonna raise him the way that. I think he should be raised and according to God's will, first and foremost. So I will instill, instill in him the values of God first and then instill in him morals, values, all those type of other things that he will need in order to be a productive and a successful black man in this world that we're living in right now. He's going to need, and, and your kids too, they're going to need somebody to tell them, preferably it's their parent or who's ever raising them, to give them that knowledge that they need and not wait until it's too late. I mean, back when, when, we, when we were coming up, I, I knew of a girl that was nine years old and she was pregnant. He's five, four years. So, mm -mm. no, I'm not waiting to tell him about anything. Um, I'm not, of course, going to say anything that's going to traumatize him and just be like, oh my God. No, I'm not going to do that, but I want him prepared. And I need him to, to know the consequences of doing things that he should not be doing. So, I mean, it is it is what it is. So, I don't know how we got on that tangent, but I just I guess I just need to get it out, you know, whatever. But I I don't, you know, and I'm gonna sit down and talk to you guys um, about some things in regards to, you know, the boys being here and, and all of that, but I want to get 
not permission, but I want to talk it over with people that I need to talk it over with. Uh, because I don't want nobody to feel a certain kind of way, even though that it is my truth, it is my experience, it is my story. Um, I still like to respect others, uh, especially in a situation like this. So um, it's not going to be like in the next day or two or whatever um, because of some things that, well, I don't know. It, it might be sooner than what I'm thinking. We'll, we'll put it that way. But, um, but yeah, I uh, just wanted to talk about that and share that. So we ain't, we, we really ain't doing a whole bunch today. Um, I'm gonna work with him uh, this week. And uh, because I, I got a feeling I'll be going back to work probably Wednesday. The baby has a uh, doctor's appointment on Tuesday. And I feel pretty confident that they're going to give me the okay to uh, let Jamari go back to his sitter's house. She has kids and she keeps other kids as well. And so I was not going to um, put them in any kind of uh, jeopardy whatsoever. So I just want to make sure that he's good to go. He's all set up um, to go back into uh, the atmosphere. Still don't know where he got them from. Um, as you guys know, chicken pox. Uh, they lay dormant uh, 14, anywhere from 14 to 16 days. So, I, and he hasn't been anywhere. He, ha he hasn't been anywhere. He's been at the sitters. Um, I don't know anybody that's had the chicken pox that's been around him. So, yeah. This was a total surprise to me. And and actually it was a total surprise to me on the as well. So, I don't know. I still don't know where this stuff came from. But, um, we're getting over it, moving through it. Um, I've been looking at some, um, some sectional fabric sectionals, we're not doing that faux leather, not even doing real leather, been there, done that, and yeah, I don't, I, I just wanted the red, just because it was popping at the time, um, but yeah, I don't want, I don't want, I don't want, and I, I think I want to go with, um, a light color this time. Alright, so let me go ahead and I just been talking y'all head off. The chicken is done. So we done with that. So now I'm gonna get um get this um get this hair ready. And I'm trying to find Y'all, if I was to show you this, these cabinets, that's what I'm looking for right now. After all the organization I did, it's not, it's not bad, but. For the most part, it's still, it's still all right, you know. I added some stuff. Um, my friend gave me this, and it's supposed to help with um, high blood pressure. 
So she gave me this along with um, some other things that is supposed to help as well. And she bought these for me too. So I got good friends. I do. God has blessed me with some good friends. Um, let's see. All right. So. Oh, that's a good angle. All right. So this is what we're going to do, y'all. I'm going to take this oil here and fill it up. What the problem is with the organization, I'm going to tell you what it is. Um, I need a house with a pantry. That's, that's, that's what the problem is. That's the whole thing of it. Yeah, chicken and seafood breading. So, if you just pull this off of here, I don't want to use too much and get my seasoning. Oh, bang. Beep, beep. So, um, that stuff that I just showed you that I'm taking, um, that Magic Mix, It kind of, dang, I need some more old bay. I bought me some more old bay. I was looking for it one day. I know in the store, did I end up? Oh no, I might have been the, uh, shoot, I don't see any, but we use this lemon pepper. But anyway, that um, that stuff I've been using, I took my blood pressure one day, and my blood pressure read 113 over 85. Girl, I about hit the floor, because I was like, oh my gosh. And it was one of those, um, it was at Walmart, and they was having their um, health um, fest or whatever. And girl, I was like, "Ooh, yes!" I ain't seen no reading like that in a long, long time. All right, so what I'm doing is I'm just, you know, breading this real good. I hope this come out right. That's why I'm only doing one. Because if this don't come out right, then I can just go ahead and put the other one in the oven. And still be good for dinner. I'm not giving any fish uh, to the baby because I don't know if he's allergic to it or not. And we already just got a one. One rash. We don't need no more rashes up in there. We don't need no more rashes up in here. I'm waiting for this to get ready. The grease. Probably ain't gonna get ready if you don't turn the turn the eye on, Gina. <sighs> Guys, that's just what's been going on here lately. Not a whole bunch. Life is great still. And hopefully it is for you too. This is probably the only cabinet. Look it. This is about the only cabinet I can keep pretty. Let me show you. Can you see up there? This is showing. Hold up, y'all. 
minute. Hold up. Wait a minute. There you go. <laughs> that one's still cute. This one over here, this is the reason why I say I need a pantry. You see that? Hmm. It's no more room for nothing. I need I need another I need a pantry. It's, it's, it's starting to go over here. The, the canned goods. Look it. Look it. You see that? You see? Yeah. That's no bueno. So I need I need a house. Period. I need a house. I need my own dang house. I'm gonna get it too. In the name of Jesus. All right, y'all. So let's see. Get this all is ready. tell you it's been real good under the circumstances it's been real good to be home with the kids um, truth be told I really could be comfortable financially and not have to work. That's a blessing. That is a blessing. Do you understand? If, if whoo, child, I have never, I, I never thought that I would utter, utter those words to say, I don't need to work. And I, I didn't realize that until this situation happened with Jamari. I honestly, I don't need to work. So if, if something happened, or if I decide, you know what, I'd rather just stay home with the kids, I can do that. I can do that and still be okay. That's crazy. And the only reason I'm not going to do it, because I know some people that might come through here, they'll be like, well, I mean, if you got it like that, why you just don't do it? Because I'm working on a goal. I'm working on something uh, for the long term. And I need as much money coming in as I could possibly get my hands on legitimately. <laughs> um, so that's the reason why I'm going to go ahead and go back to work and um, work and, and get this money. Now, if God do something and he say, no, ma'am, you're not going back to work. Okay. You're the boss. I'm okay with that. Because <laughs> I like being at home with the boys. I really do. I like being home with the boys. Plus, I would be saving a whole lot of money on, on daycare, you know, if God so chooses for me to be home. I'm good with that. So, um, if y'all knew the story, because this is, this is what I wanted when I was raising my kids. I wanted to be a, a stay-at-home mom. Um, I heard my phone going off, but I don't even know where I put it at. Um, 
But yeah, I wanted to be a stay-at-home mom, or at least I wanted to have a job where I was at home with them by the time they came home from school. And I wasn't, I wasn't afforded that because I wasn't doing what I needed to be doing as far as living right by God. And now that I am, I can, I can see the difference from, you know, being in sin and following what the devil wanted me to do versus walking in the light of the Lord. I can see the difference, and I love it. And he's, he's showing me things in little ways, like it'll just pop up, like that just popped up in my head, like you really don't have to go back to work if you don't want to. And I was just like, wow, look at him work. So... So yeah, I mean that that was just something that I did want for my kids, you know, and it just it didn't happen, you know. And I feel like I was not the best mom that I could have been um, had I had I um, been walking in the light of the Lord. Is what I'm trying to say, y'all. While I'm fighting with this lobby flip over for me without popping grease everywhere. Okay, so this one has to be I didn't want to take no tongs. pretty good guys let me show you look at her look at her so now I just want to know what, what it's going to taste like that would be the big test I took some uh, shrimp out too. AJ likes shrimp. Well, that's all I wanted for now, y'all. I, I come back and close the video out uh, or either do a mukbang uh, with this food that we have today. So we'll see what happens. Oh, I can 